includes four mobile defense systems as we have a tendency toll as surface-to-air missiles. This is General Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of Staffs, who reports more than 100,000 Russian soldiers are killed or wounded during the war from Keith the Ukrainian. Flag flying once more and locals not afraid to speak Ukrainian in order that they sing it in their national anthem our boys they cry thanks we prayed for you to come Harrison was the Kremlin's crowning achievement holding the region captive since the beginning of the invasion enforcing. Ukrainians to pay Russian rubles by the Russian flag even move their clocks forward one hour to Moscow time at a day Ukrainian forces are winding it back reclaiming villages one by one but with extreme caution Russian forces leave behind a deadly path of mines and booby traps and that. They still hold the city of Harrison itself and it might one all be a trap enemy says President Zelensky will not hand out gifts however the enemy has suffered loss after loss in recent months and should air the brink it'll take a while till Ukrainian troops will enter the liberated areas that are heavily mined and it will take tons of time to clear up Russian troops will leave the world for instance until the end of this month most likely it will be over but a December now according to Russian state TV the Kremlin hoped the GOP would win Bijan midterm elections therefore it might cut off funding to land to this point the U.S. has sent over 18 billion greenbacks. If you love the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.